Hello guys, welcome to the weekly vlog. I'm on my way to the chiropractor this morning. About every three to four weeks I go in and I have a chiropractor appointment. So I'm just going this morning to have my regular chiropractor appointment. A little after eight now because my appointment's at 8.30 and man, I am tired. I did not want to wake up this morning and it's actually kind of cold out here. It's not even 60 degrees. So I'm actually wearing a sweatshirt. Wearing one of my favorite crew necks. I have missed wearing a sweatshirt. I haven't worn a sweatshirt in what feels like forever now. It's probably been a month or two. I've seriously missed wearing a sweatshirt. It feels so good, although it is still chilly out here. The sun is out though, so I'm sure today is going to be a hot one, but it just, it's early enough. Maybe I haven't been out this early. <laughs> Even though I'm awake at this time in the morning usually, or I'm getting up about this time, sometime between 8 and 9, I'm usually waking up. I'm just not out and about, so... Anyways, oh, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I didn't want to wake up, so anyways, I'm headed to my appointment, and I just thought I should check in, start this vlog, so I'll see you guys afterwards. I'm then done at the chiropractor now, so I think I'm going to head home. Honestly, I'm really tired, I just want to go back home and go back to bed. I was not ready to wake up this morning. I usually get up between 8.30 and 9, but I had to be here at 8.30 this morning. So when my alarm went off at 7.30, I just was not ready to wake up. You ever have those mornings? Because I was having one this morning, and I don't know why. I went to bed kind of early last night. I went to bed at like 10.30 or 11, so I'm not sure why I was so tired this morning. Sorry the lighting is pretty terrible. Um, anyways, I think I'm just gonna head home now. Maybe get back in bed. I guarantee my husband's still sleeping. So I might just crawl back in bed and take a little nap or go back to sleep. Cause I'm just not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Either that or I need some coffee, but I don't even have any coffee. Other than my appointment, I don't really have anything else going on today. I do kinda wanna try cutting up some old jeans into some cute Bermuda shorts. I've been seeing this cute trend on Pinterest where they have high-waisted, like super high-waisted, kind of mom jean style Bermuda jeans, if you will, but the legs themselves are baggy. I don't know how to describe it. I will insert a picture on the screen here of what I've seen. I think they look really cute and so I want to take maybe a pair of my older high-waisted skinny jeans maybe a pair that doesn't really fit me anymore a pair that's too big for me or that's a lot looser on me now that I was gonna get rid of and cut the legs off of those and make them kind of a pair of Bermuda shorts I have one pair of Bermuda shorts but they're not super high-waisted they're kind of like a mid-rise or a, kind of a just a standard high-rise where they come to maybe just below my belly button. And nowadays I like my high rise to like come way up above my belly button. Like those high rise that come right up into that like waist indention in your hourglass figure, which I don't really have, but you know, that kind of high waisted. So um, it's either go out and find a pair and spend money on them or try to make a pair myself. So I might just try to do that today. I could think of the perfect pair of jeans that I used to wear that I have in the donate pile in my beauty room. So I might just try to go dig those out and cut the legs off those because like no hard feelings if they don't turn out I was going to get rid of them anyways. I have literally spent the entire afternoon on the phone. I am so done. I checked the mail when I got home. And I got a paper in the mail from back in October when I was in that car accident when that guy rear-ended me in the coffee shop drive through From the body shop I had my car fixed at saying that the insurance company of the person that rear-ended me, they supposedly sent me a check that I'm supposed to take the body shop that fixed my car. 
Well, I've never received a check, so I spent a while on the phone trying to get that whole situation figured out. Then I got another thing in the mail saying that I need to call this other company for this big old situation. And I've been on hold with this company for hours. I was on hold the first time for an hour and a half, between an hour and a half and two hours, and my call got dropped. So I called again, and now I've been on hold for two, almost two and a half hours, and I'm still waiting on hold. I've literally been waiting on hold all afternoon long. I'm just so over, and I'm just praying that this phone call does not get dropped, because if this one gets dropped, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm just going to be so frustrated to have to do this all over again. And it's getting too late in the day that there won't be time to call again. Like, I won't get through to somebody by the time their phone lines close for the day. So, we're really hoping, fingers crossed, that we get through to somebody before their phone lines close. And that my phone call doesn't get dropped. But, um, it's just like, oh good. The wait time thing just popped up. It said I have about approximately eight minutes for my phone will be answered. But anyways, it's just, it's frustrating because you can't really do anything while you're on hold because you don't want to set your phone down and miss when they answer it. And you don't want to, you know, be traveling around too much with your phone and for some reason have your phone call dropped. I was literally laying in bed on my iPad, wasn't even touching my phone. It was on the other side of my pillow when all of a sudden my phone call just, they quit. And I was like, what just happened? And that's not the first time this happened. Months and months ago, I was dealing with the same thing. I had to call the same company and took forever, was on hold, got through with the first person, and I was on hold for the second, like, they transferred me to whoever the second department I actually needed to talk to was. And the same thing happened today as it happened last time, and the phone call dropped. So, hoping that I can get through and I don't have to deal with this again. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I've just been waiting on hold forever. Eventually, I will, once this is done, go dig around for some shorts. And we will go turn some pants into some Bermuda shorts. But I gotta wait for this phone call to get done before I even attempt to go look for shorts. Because I don't want to be in the middle of that when they answer. Because that'll be exactly what happens. I found some American Eagle jeans. These are just some regular, like, skinny jeans, 360 stretch. I don't have any clue if these even really fit me anymore. They're probably way too big. But I did see a tutorial on Pinterest on how to, like, sew them so they're tighter. Like, you make an angle on them and sew them up like this at the pocket. So, if I need to, I could sew them. But I figured, being that these are skinny jeans and I want them to feel a little more, like, mom jeans that having them to be looser is probably good but yeah these are just a pair of plain skinny jeans in my old size so what I want to do is cut these just above the knee I guess to make them like a Bermuda short length so I think that's what we're gonna do maybe I should put these on and put like a line on the leg so I know about where I'm cutting maybe that's what I should do what do you think I want to cut these into like Bermuda shorts you know what those are we made a shorts of the long denim jean shorts. So I want them to be at the right length. So maybe I'm thinking about putting them on, taking a sharpie and cutting or drawing at least a mark on them so I know about where my knee is. So I don't cut them too short. Cause I feel like if I just guessed where to cut, I would end up cutting them too short. All right, I'm gonna put them on and put a couple marks on them with the sharpie so I know about what length I need to cut them at. So I have the jeans on and they are like really big. So I'll probably do that sewing trick thing on the sides. But other than that, I think they'll be all right. So what I'm gonna do is mark like on the inside and the outside seam about where I want them to be or just below where I want them to be. a little look but at least I have an idea of where my knee is then. All right let's do this. I kind of feel like I should fold the legs in half right? That way my lines are straight across. All right legs are folded in half. My lines really aren't that even when you fold them in half like that. And I think I'm gonna go just a little bit above those seams. 
These scissors apparently suck. These are not fabric cutting scissors. So I went and got a different pair of scissors. Let's see if these ones cut any better. A little bit, but this is pretty thick to cut through both layers. I think I'm just gonna have to do one at a time. Okay, there's one side cut. They don't look too terrible, actually. All right, let's do the other side now. Let's hope that both sides are even now. That's gonna be the struggle. Maybe I should have just put folded the whole thing in half. Do it now. <laughs> should I already cut one leg off? I'm gonna do it now. Truth, how do we look? All right, I guess here we go. Let's try them on. They're all cut, so. Okay, so you guys can't see my whole body. You can just see my legs, but they turned out all right. They're kind of a little long, but that's fine because that means I could just fold them up if I wanted to, or I could go off and, huh? Yeah, or I could go and cut another inch or something off, but they're not terrible. I'm gonna look at them in the mirror because I actually haven't done that yet. I'm gonna check out and see how they look. The thing I hate about them the most is I keep having to hike them up because they're so loose. They need to be tightened up here at my waistline. So I ended up deciding to cut off another two inches just because I felt like it was too long. Both my husband and I felt like it needed to be a little bit shorter. So this is what it looks like now and I like it so much better. Um, I feel like they have a little bit of a mom jean vibe and the fact that they're not super tight through here, which is what I like about my mom jeans is they're a little bit looser fitting in my more self-conscious areas. But other than that, I really like how they turned out. I need to do some, like some cinching, some sewing to tighten up the waistband. So the only thing I really don't love about it, there's some serious gapping back in here. So I'm gonna go watch that tutorial on Pinterest again and get out my sewing kit or my cross stitching stuff and sew all this up to uh, kind of bring in some of the inches, some extra fabric around the waistband. And I think that these will be really good shorts for our vacation in like a month and a half because they're nice and long so I won't get any chub rub, my thighs won't start chafing, but they're kind of cute and they're super trendy right now from what I've seen on Pinterest. So actually I'm really, really happy with this. Good morning guys. My hair looks crazy right now, but don't judge because I'm actually just about to leave the house to go get my hair cut. My hair needs a cut so bad. The ends are disgusting. They feel like straw. They feel so gross. I need a couple inches cut off. So I just threw my hair up in this messy bun that's even like falling down. But I'm literally going to get my hair cut. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just throw it up and she's gonna wash it and cut it and like blow dry it for me. So. Uh, yeah, I need it so bad though. It's disgusting. So about to head out of the house right now and I'm grabbing my purse. So I guess I will see you guys with my new fresh cut. My hair feels so good. Feels so much better. These ends look way better. She curled my hair for me and blow dried it and made it feel so good. She cut probably two, three inches off, and did a little bit of dusting, because I actually don't have any layers in my hair. I have so much breakage and stuff from all the bleaching that I really don't need layers. My hair has gotten so much thinner on the ends from all the breakage that I'm like, yeah, let's not really add layers. But it looks so much better. It's unbelievable how much better it looks. I do need a color, but I'm gonna save that till right before our vacation. I made an appointment for the very end of August. Um, it's like two weeks before we leave for our vacation. So I'll have a nice fresh color. I would have done it the week before we go on our vacation, except for we have a concert that week, and so I want my hair to be fresh and done for a concert too. So 
anyways, yeah, my hair looks good. So now that I'm home, I actually think I'm going to film a makeup look and do some editing and stuff. I have some new foundation from Tarte. I just picked up the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, the new 16-hour wear one that they reformulated. I'm going to do like a wear test for that foundation. I am trying to decide between a couple different foundations. Um, as to what I'm going to wear on our vacation. So I'm going to do a wear test video for that foundation. I've never done a wear test video before. So I'm kind of excited to do something new. So if you guys, so keep an eye out for that. I think actually that video will be going up on Tuesday next week. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, subscribe if you're new so you can check that video out. But I'm going to do that and I'm probably just going to like edit and just do a bunch of work for the rest of the afternoon. So... I probably won't really be doing any vlogging today. It's just going to be a pretty laid back, non vloggable day. So I will probably see you guys tomorrow. It's laundry day. So I'm headed to my parents to do the laundry. I hate doing laundry. It's such a hassle. I'm like, I just wish we had a freaking washer and dryer in our apartment. We used to have them in our building and they were coin operated. So it was like five bucks to do a load of laundry because the dryer never washed your clothes all the way. I think it ran for like 20 minutes, if that. Like it was a stupid dryer. And then about two, three months ago, they were, they were doing a bunch of work down there and they took out the washer and dryer and then they never replaced them. So I don't know what's going on down there, but there's no washer and dryers in our buildings anymore. So anyways, I still continue to do my parents, but it would just be so nice to just do laundry in our apartment or in our place and like, we will never ever live in a place again where there is no laundry for five, almost five years now. I've been going to my parents and doing our laundry and I'm over it. <laughs> but anyways, it's Saturday. It's a nice day. It's only like about 80 degrees and so it's not too hot. It's beautiful and yeah, I'm going to do laundry. I have a bunch of editing I need to do. My parents aren't even going to be there today. They're actually out of town for the day. They're taking a day trip to go up to a car show or something up in Salem. So I don't know. We'll probably even see them. I'm guessing they'll probably be home late afternoon or something. But I might not see them. Who knows? Maybe they'll be out super late. Um, I highly doubt it though. But anyways, yeah, I'll have a nice quiet day. I actually brought my laptop with me so I could do some editing while I'm there. Usually I don't get any editing done with my parents because mom and I are watching shows or movies or something and I can't focus to get any editing done but today I'm actually going to get some editing done so that'll be nice. Also I'm going to run to the Dollar General because they have like that pharmacy-ish section. Obviously it's not the well, it does have a pharmacy but they've got like over-the-counter prescription stuff so I'm going to go there because everything's really cheap there. I need to go pick up some stuff from there and um, probably peruse around the Dollar General, eat food out of their fridge instead of out of my own. You know, the things you do when you go to your parents' house. <laughs> Today is going to be a pretty chill day, aside from doing laundry because that is never fun. But... Alright, I'm about to go into the Dollar General, see what goodies they got. And of course, to go, like I said, to the pharmacy section, pick up some over-the-counter meds that are cheap. So, anyways, let's go see what they got. Anything good? I always like check out their seasonal section. I always find it fun. Never know what you're gonna find at the Dollar General. laundry is all done and I'm home. I do need to fold it and put it away, but that is not going to happen tonight. But now that I'm home, I'm going to chill for the night, 
take off my makeup and get ready for bed here soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.